Welcome to the first coding challenge video. Now this is a challenge to generate some code which will perform a particular function. So in this instance, the first one we're going to look at is generating the sum of the first n terms of some sequence. So for example, the most famous one is adding up the numbers 1 to 100. So you, you would have 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 100. So that's your sequence. Now, whenever you add it up, you get this arithmetic series. Okay, so it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way up to 100. So that's a bit of maths speak. But all we want to do is just add up the first 100 numbers. Now, the story is historically that Gauss, uh, Carl Friedrich Gauss, solved this problem uh, when he was at school and he was only 10 years old, which is quite some going, I think. Now, this isn't the possibly the exact method that he may have used, but we'll go through a little um, derivation of the equation which we want to um, try to code. So this is the final equation here. Now, if you're not interested in the derivation, you can just take this equation here and go straight to, to um, the coding. Now, if we wanted to add these all together, we could notice that if we added the first one and the last one, then it would be 1 plus 100, which gives us 101. And we could add on the second one and then the second last one, which would be 2 plus 99. And then we could add 3 plus 98. And we could go all the way along so that we add all 100 numbers. So in effect, we're adding the 1 to 100 and then 100 to 1. So we're adding it twice. So we're going to end up with two times uh, uh, as much as we actually want at the very end. So we're going to have two times the sum is going to give us this value here. So we could say then two times the sum is going to be, well, this is a constant, 101, 101, 101. So it's going to be uh, 100 times 101, which is 10,100. But again, that's twice as much as we require. So we divide it by two and we get the final answer 5050. So that's a nice, neat, quick way of generating a result. Now, what we're going to do is generate a kind of a, a, a more general equation. So you may well have seen that you can solve this problem if you were to take, say, um, the first term A, add the second the last term, sorry, uh, An, divide the whole thing by 2. So in effect, you're taking the average of the terms and then multiplying it by the number of terms. So that will, will also give you the same result. But we're not going to do it like this because this assumes that you know what the last term is. Now, in this instance, we do know what the last term is. But if we generate this equation here, we can work out what the sum is simply by knowing the first term, the difference and the number of terms. So this is the way we're going to actually do it. So I'll rub this out here. We don't need that. Now, what we want to do is generate this equation. So I'll just quickly talk through. We're going to have the sum. So the sum is going to be the value of a. Now, it's an arithmetic progression, so the difference is the same every time. OK, so that's what makes it an arithmetic progression. So the next term is going to be a plus d, and then it's going to be a plus 2d, a plus 3d, a plus 4d. Now, the very last term is going to be a plus n minus 1 times d. Now, we get the n minus 1 because the very first term here is a. Now, the second term here is a plus 1d. The third term is a plus 2d. The fourth term is a plus 3d. And the final term is a plus n minus 1 times d. Now, we know that if we use this process here, in which we're adding up the 100 terms, we're going to end up with twice as much as we actually want, OK? So the final answer will, will have to be n divided by 2. And you'll note here as well that we're adding up the value of a here and the value of a here. So that's 2a. And then we've got 
these terms here, which the were going to be the n minus one times d. Okay, so that's a a quick little derivation. It doesn't matter if you're not understanding the derivation one hundred percent. You can always look elsewhere if you're interested, um, or you don't need to bother at all. We just want to code this thing. So I I will leave this um to you in order to code, but you'll know if you get into the resources section that you will have um, a file there. So I will open up this file and it's just really got what we have here inside that file and then you can start writing the actual code. So let's have a look at that now. Now I have left this file here in the resources section. It's called CC, so the CC means a coding challenge and it's sum of n terms of an arithmetic um, uh, progression and we've got the .asm file, ASM extension because it's an assembly language file. Now I've just got the description here of the process of the derivation. We've got the actual um, equation here which we want to generate in our assembly language and we've got a little uh, pseudo code guide here. So you can have a little read of this. I'll fix that. Okay, so you can have a little read of this and you'll notice at the bottom here I've put the very first line of the code. So the very first line is always origin 0 cross 8000. So you can go on from that point there and uh, as you work through each line of your code I would suggest you maybe go into the terminal and you can run task and you can assemble it. Okay, so at the bottom here it actually comes up saying assembly successful um, because we haven't actually generated it as such. All of these are just comments, okay? So that is the coding challenge. Um, if you've gone through the course uh, Code the Machine and you've seen a lot of my code, you should be able to pick up from my code and also there's code there from um, Timothy Morgan uh, and you could always have a look at his as well. Now I, I haven't actually generated this so far so I'll wait and see what results you come in with and I'll, I will also generate my own but it's interesting just to see uh, different people's um, coding styles. So thank you for listening to this video. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.